kitchen all right where you will get to see how they make of course the famous garifuna dish hudut and Vesclora is no stranger to the cuisine garifuna cuisine buiti binafi Vesclora. buiti binafi yami nida biagi me good and we are be better right now when we see how this whole thing uh, is made in terms of the hudut your feelings, uh, Galifina Sediment Day, everything has to be done virtually. You have to have a face mask, everything. Times have changed. I know. It is, it is. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do because it's something we are not control. Miss Gloria, everybody loves Hudut and they want to know to make it at home. Talk to us, what's the uh, ingredients we need to have before you demonstrate to us? Make everybody have that set so that you know what, if you want to start your own Hudut meeting, these are the ingredients you need to have. All right, if you want to cook Hudut, you need to have green plantain, ripe plantain, coconut from the tree, not the can, not the powder, fresh fish, basil, oregano, a little bit of garlic, salt, black pepper. What's the first step, Miss Gloria? First step, you have to make sure that the pot is ready to start. So you have the pot on with the water, so it starts to boil. Then you start to peel the plantain. After you peel the plantain, you put it in at the pot. It's supposed to take like 15 minutes cooking time. And then you have five minutes that you add to the ripe one to make a 20 minutes cooking time. Here we go with the process. The first process of making kudut to get your baru ready, your planting. So how many will you be uh, peeling this morning? Okay, I'll peel like two plantains per person, so it's like six plantains ripe, and then I'll add two more to make it eight, and that's enough to feed three persons. How long will the boiling process take for this planting? Okay, it will take 15 minutes green and then 5 minutes ripe. So a total of 20 minutes cooking time. Excellent. So 20 minutes from now, the planting should be ready. Here we go, folks. The planting going into the pot. And if you notice, we are not using any gas stove we are doing the traditional way on the fire hot. That's how Miss Gloria does her hudut. They say if the fire hot, it more, it more cement, it, it more nice, so Miss Gloria. Exactly, cement tomato, bravo. Mm -hmm. All right, since we have that boiling on the stove, um, we move to an, another uh, step. We'll prepare the fish, so we gotta make sure that the fish is seasoned and ready to put into the hudud. So we are cut up the fish and season it up with salt. Uduro. Uduro. Galadi. All right, snapper. So Miss Gloria will be uh, getting this snapper together, seasoning it right. What kind of seasoning are we talking about? We're just talking about plain salt, I mean, because we don't want to kill the flavor of this hudud. It's just plain salt because we add a little bit of um, okra, Garlic, fresh basil because I got basil and I got oregano. This is a culture waiver, not kind of fake. All right, original, original. Miss Gora, I always wonder why you slice the fish like that. Well, I have to slice it so that the salt could get in at the fish. The flavor kicks in with the salt, right? Okay, so make sure, make sure that you always cut up so that when you cut it up or you put the salt inside, you get the flavor. All right. Some folks would fry their fish before it go into the lassos, before it goes into the uh, hudo, yes. or, they will, or they will boil. Yeah, you know what? Some people don't like it um, unfried, so they would fry it. 
And for some, they don't want it fried, so they prefer it on fried. So no matter that how you want it, I mean. But I normally do it for both flavor. So if you want it fry, I had some fry. And then if you know, if you don't want it fry, likewise I have it for both session, you know matter. Yep, me love the one fry first. Yeah. Alright. So we have to hook the coconut first, I mean, so we'll do that now and then come right back and then we'll do the grating before we get the milk from the coconut to do it la sus. Right, here we go. The husking of the coconut. If you notice, everything is being done authentically. This is no machete, they cut the coconut. Easy as that. All right, that's how you husk it. Yep, this, this is how you husk it. Now we're going to break it in half and then we'll grate it. Here we go. Miss Gloria, that was a perfect circle if you want to call, call it that. You have to have skills to break a coconut exactly, just like that. Exactly, it's all about skills, Armin. All about the skill. Uh-huh. So yeah, you'll grate it now? Yes, I'll do the grating now. As we fan, fan, fan the flame to heat up the pot, and then we'll get from grating the coconut now, we'll get to see uh, the next procedure of uh, getting the, the milk out of the, the coconut. Am I correct, Miss Gloria? Yes, you're right. Here we go. This is the right, this is the right. Right plantain, funaru, baru funaru. So which got root for baru funaru to go in the tilo to wig you We'll add the right plantain into the right one, um, the green ones. Okay, here we go. Taking the right plantain now, going into the green ones. And the, the right plantain is just added with the green to give it that sweetness in terms of the uh, plantain that we'll use to eat the hudut with. Uh, am I correct there, Miss Gloria? Yes, you are. All right, so, so, so lee green and ripe, perfect mix. On an average scale, I mean, it's 75% green and 25% ripe. All right, there you have it. We will strain the coconut right now to get the milk because the plantain is almost done. And then we'll have fry the fish. So by the time the plantain done, the pot will be ready to put the milk to continue the lasus. All right, here we go. So you take out by chunks? Yes, by chunks. And by cups, because we don't want to get the coconut water, we want the milk. So we put like one cup each. Okay, okay. And use the, the water right from the coconut? The same water from the coconut, that's the water we'll use first. And if we need more water, then we'll just add the regular water. Okay. That's how it's done, Miss Gore, in terms of squeezing the, the coconut, getting the, the, the milk out. Yes, this is it. As you can see, it's ready to put on the fire and start the follow more for the hudut. All right, that, that's a, like a fertilizer now. Okay, nothing is wasted. Nothing. We'll take out the plantain almond because it's ready. And then thereafter, we'll pan fry the fish before we do the lasus. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So now, Miss Gloria, the fish. Yes, the fish is going to be halfway done, not completely 100%. It's just like 50. 
back. <laughs> Meanwhile, I finished the fry. We need to get some fresh basil from my mini garden and some oregano. So let's get it. All right, here we go. Everything is fresh and everything is authentic. We're going to the garden to select uh, our basil. <laughs> And here we have it, I mean, fresh basil, oregano. Straight from the garden. Straight from the garden into the pot. Man, you can't get it better than that only in Hopkins Village. added some stuff from all of the garden. Yes, that was fresh basil and oregano from the garden. Now I have some okra and some habanero pepper that I will drop into the pot just before serving time. The habanero will be served in individual bowl and you guys gonna break it at your own risk, Carmen. Don't be pointing finger at me, sir. Break at your own risk. I like that. I see we have some... Um, as well. Garlic. Garlic as well. Yes, sir. I mean, we have garlic. We can't finish the cooking at this without, without garlic. Trust me. So, but these will be added a little later on before we yes. get to the end, right? Exactly. Okay. Now, the fish have already been, like you mentioned, semi-fried. Uh, and uh, it's been placed now in the lasso. Yes, it is. As you can see, it's right there. So we're going to leave it to simmer for like 10 minutes, I mean. And then we'll add the okra and the bell pepper just like in 10 minutes time and then should be ready. Kudut should always be stirred. It should not just be, be left like that, right? Yes, especially when it's coconut milk because if it's left unattended, it curdles. Okay. So now, how long are you, you feel from you putting the fish to putting the other ingredients? 10 minutes time, Armin. All right. Us, Ms. Gloria, what's the next procedure? Okay, Pl planting beet in Marmin. So we gotta do the green ones first. It's very important that you guys know the step. Okay. If you put the green and the ripe ones together, it won't make it better, it just make it worse. So you gotta pound the green ones until it's smooth. And then after it's smooth completely, then you add the ripe one. Any other, uh, like in terms of pepper or salt, goes into to this as well? Yes, actually the plantain was boiled with salt, so you don't have to add any more salt. But if it wasn't, then this time you would add a little bit of salt. Green first, then the ripe later. All the ingredients in at this time, and what is this? Uh, it's it's kind of thick now. Yeah. Exactly, the okra, I mean the okra. And then, as I tell you earlier, you have to make sure that it doesn't curdle. If it curdles, it changes the texture and the looks of how the palmo is supposed to look. But this is exactly how it's supposed to look. As soon as it starts boiling, you just reduce the fire and it just simmers. See? So the slower fire it have right now, it's better. That way it doesn't get, con it get out of control to get curdled. So at this moment, you'll add the whole habanero pepper. Make sure that the habaneros are not broken Make sure it's properly sealed before you even add it to your pot. All What's right? the reason for that? Because if it's broken, then the spice let loose in the pot and then I guess hardly anybody will enjoy. Bonio? Yeah, more than bonio. All right. All right, Ms. Gloria, we move to just now the beating of the plantain. Yes, this is the plantain beating and the very most important part of it because then you have to make sure that this plantain beat very smooth because then we don't want no lumpy, lumpy plantain, right? So we have to start with the green ones and when they're done smooth, we add the ripe ones. All right. Today is the day. All right, it's my turn to beat the plantain as we get ready to try the hudud. We have uh, a 
ready to beat the plantain. Now the product is done. It's time to taste. Exactly. So at this time, I will take out the lassus, which is a serre for the hudut, mm -hmm. and then we'll have the plantain separately. So you guys are gonna break like a little pinch of the plantain mm -hmm. into the lassus, and then you will eat and enjoy. A lot of people eat the hudut with a spoon, but the, you're supposed to pinch off with your hand, depending on the lassus, and then eat. Yes, exactly. Like I always tell my guests, them I only put um, spoon on the table for table manners, but. Mm -hmm. Original way of eating my hudut is with my fingers. All right. And uh, then they would normally ask me for a napkin. I said, we don't use napkin. You just guys, you guys just got to lick your fingers up. That's why we got it too nice. Yep. A lot of people as well try to add to their hudut. So I see some pig tail, I see lobster and conks. But the authentic way is just uh, the fish. Yes, I mean, well, if you guys want to do your own twist, it's on you. But when I do the authentic way, I do it exactly how I was start and back up. Miss uh, Gloria, we want to thank you very much. We'll now have a chance to eat some hudud. Uh, you have a business here in Hopkins Village. Uh, tell us about the business. Yes, I had a business on the north side of Hopkins, Tugusina Gloria. I, I cook local and international cuisine. Mm -hmm. So you guys want to visit Hopkins and you don't know where to stop by and enjoy something special, feel free to stop by me. My number is 671-964. You could call and place an order, check what the menu is, and I could I will definitely hook you guys up. All right, no Facebook yet? Um, I don't have no Facebook, but I had a business page. So you could find Togusna Gloria, that's my business page. And then you normally we have the menu on the business page, so you will see exactly what we have on a daily basis. Miss Gloria, thank you very much for uh, showing not only us in person but the entire world how to make authentic hudud as we head on into Garifuna Settlement Day. Thank you very much to Armin and the Love Crew for choosing Tugusna Gloria to showcase the cooking of the Garifuna hudud. I'm a proud Garifuna woman, always willing to showcase my village, my culture, to make sure it's alive. So. I am the, like the happiest person doing what I'm doing right now because this is from within, trust me. All right, thank you again. You're welcome, Armin, and enjoy your hudut. We will enjoy. Here's the finished product from Tugusina Gloria, and uh, this is authentic hudut made in Hopkins Village. And I'm about to get uh, the first try before everybody else. All right, get the uh, plant in with some lassos. Tackle the snapper a little later. Here we go. Oh my god. This is excellent hudut. You taste all the flavors. Uh, what we got from the garden. You know, the plantain is beat just right. The fish, let me just try a piece of fish right here. It's a snapper that was fried first. Then place it in the hudut. Mmm. Excellent. When you come to Hopkins, please make sure you come down to Togusina Gloria, Gloria's Kitchen, and she will make sure you enjoy this hudut as well. All right, I'm going to give him back to some time to get off the camera so that he could come and enjoy some hudut. Thank you, Miss Gloria. You're welcome, Armin. All right. Sir.